Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, June 11th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. And I am at my friend Oween Courtney's house, which is just so beautiful, up here in the mountains of North Carolina. And look at what I have to help me pray. This beautiful cross. And this beautiful view. We continue this morning in the book of Ecclesiasticus, which is part of the Apocrypha, these books that were included in the Bible and read a lot by the early Christians, but the Jews didn't use them. Uh, Ecclesiasticus was originally written in Hebrew, but uh, the Hebrew texts were not found until the 1900s. What we had was Greek and Syriac, um, Coptic texts, um, so it was exciting when scholars found in Cairo and um, other places some Hebrew text so that we can now read it in its original. Today, uh, Sirach, the, um, the, we believe the priest or the man who loved God and loved to worship, is writing about, of all things, vestments. You see, I think he was high church. In fact, Sirach reminds me of one of the vergers at my cathedral who has now passed on into glory, whose name was Frank Bellamy. Frank Bellamy loved the fancy vestments. He was always telling me to put on the fanciest thing ever. <laughs> he would remind me, this is a great party honoring God. Why don't you put on the cope? Why don't you do it every Sunday? I was more drawn to the simple, and I feel a little overwhelmed sometimes by all the pageantry. But Frank really got that part, and so did Sirach. Sirach said that Aaron, Moses' brother, was dressed in glory, and he describes Aaron's vestment, and it sounds incredible, it has pomegranates on it. I don't know how you attach pomegranates to a piece of clothing. It has gold. It jangles and jingles. It has red thread and golden thread and it's embroidered and he wears a huge crown on top of a turban. You can just see this man walking along. But for Sirach, the more beautiful the things that you use to worship, the more you honor God. It's as if if you were going to have, let's say, the President of the United States over to dinner, well, you probably wouldn't use paper plates. You'd probably get out your best china, right? So the idea behind beautiful liturgy and beautiful things in worship is that God is coming to dinner and it's a great celebration and we have to give thanks with everything we have and pull out all the stops. The more beautiful, the better because God deserves it. And that's why sometimes we wear these incredibly gorgeous vestments even though Jesus probably never wore anything like that and wandered around with a dirty piece of clothing on. But when you have God to dinner, you want to get out your best stuff. So Sirach talks about the glory days when Aaron worshipped and had the most beautiful vestments on in order to say thank you. And remember the word Eucharist means thanks giving. So it's okay to dress up for God. It's okay to have fun for God. It's okay to celebrate beauty and life. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have brought us in safety to this beautiful new day. Help us appreciate the beauty of this earth today and the gift of beauty in all things. Thank you for beautiful clothes. Thank you for beautiful people. Thank you for art and music and all that sings your glory. We ask you today to bless those who are sick. Bless the dying, Lord. Bless the hungry, those in pain. Give us wisdom and guidance on this day that we may serve you and know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
God bless you. Have a great day.